Hey, what's up everyone? So uh, we're gonna be talking about building some real core stamina and I'm not talking about sit-ups or toes the bar or Russian twists or necessarily even planks in this moment, um, even though you can use planks to do that. What I'm talking about is doing extended kettlebell march style workouts or conditioning pieces. You might even call it conditioning, you can call it accessory or primary work, where the goal is that you're under load and you have to stabilize and fight rotating, twisting, and leaning. So that way when you transfer that over to other uh, workouts or movements that you do, you have the base GPP in your core to keep training hard. So if you're someone where maybe your chest drops, when you do front squats, when we do heavy deadlift workouts, you have a tendency to run out of steam in your lower back or you just have a hard time stabilizing period, this can help. Plus for most of us, if you have a weaker core, you don't really enjoy doing the normal plank type of deal. You wanna do something a little different, this keeps it interesting. So all we need is a light to moderate weight kettlebell to start and you wanna be able to walk somewhere around 50 meters, all right? So the first one is, we're just gonna stand here, right? Single arm farmer's carry, we're gonna walk, and every 10 meters, just do five swings, five single arm swings, all right? And you're not gonna switch arms. You're gonna do this for 100 meters. So farmer's carry, every 10 meters, do five kettlebell swings, one arm kettlebell swings, keep going for 100 meters, and then bring it back. You can set a clock for 10 minutes, work on it, start light, because you don't notice this really taxes you after the first few minutes, okay? Second one, again, we can keep that single arm farmer's carry. I'll switch sides. Step forward, when we get to the 10 meter line, just give me five suitcase single arm deadlifts. Now, everything I'm going over, I actually got from Active Life. They have all videos going over different ways to do this. Um, we integrate in our gym, it's working really well. Injuries have gone down, people's backs are getting better. The next one, we're gonna go overhead. Same thing, set that clock, I'm overhead. Every 10 meters, you can do anywhere from one to five thrusters. And what we're doing is, we're taxing stabilizers or core SSA engaged, so we're not twisting all funny. And then we're moving in a position that, we, moving in a way that we need to use our core as well. Now the hard variation of this one is, every 10 meters, do anywhere from one to five kettlebell snatches. So we're working on shoulder stability, our upper back, everything that allows us to have stamina, we're doing handstand push-ups, push jerks, push press, and everything else as well as our core, not just the front, but that whole um, around the sides, lower back, everything that keeps you stable so you don't rotate and twist and end up getting injured. So try it out, set a clock for 10 minutes, 100 meters every 10 meters do a movement. Let's see how that core gets stronger. Talk to you guys soon.